Uh, go forward a little bit more. Concrete, the world's most ubiquitous building material, so central to modern life that the U.S. makes two tons of it per year for every man, woman, and child. It's how we build our homes, our roads, our pipes. But making it is also a huge source of greenhouse gas emissions, fueling global warming. But what if concrete could instead be a climate solution, a place to store carbon dioxide and keep it out of the atmosphere? The concept of storing CO2 in concrete has actually been around for decades. What Carbon Cure was able to innovate is find a way to implement it easily and uh, without disrupting operations while improving the performance of concrete. Founded in 2012, Carbon Cure is one of the leading manufacturers of carbon removal and utilization technologies, with other companies like Boston Metals and Climate Work also in the field. In the past, most carbon storage solutions focused on storing CO2 either underground or in trees. A lot of people don't realize, but heavy industry actually makes up about a quarter of our greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. And so while a lot of progress has been made on transportation with electric vehicles and reducing uh, carbon from electricity with renewable sources like wind and solar, there is still a lot of work to do to get the technologies needed to reduce our carbon footprint from heavy Heavy industrial processes like making concrete. Concrete plants using Carbon Cures technology inject CO2 directly into the concrete, making it look like black dry ice. According to a Princeton study, around 8% of overall global emissions come solely from the making of cement, a key ingredient in concrete. Climate scientists say humans have already pumped so much CO2 into the atmosphere that we now have to find ways to remove what's already been released and store it safely. Everybody wants to build green, but what we've found is that not very many of them are willing to pay more for it. So because of that, uh, we've had to develop technology which is cost neutral. So this allows the concrete producer to be able to provide the same quality concrete with a lower carbon footprint at about the same price. So how does it end up being the same price if they have to pay more to add this to it? When you add CO2 into concrete, there's a chemical reaction which occurs, which actually increases the strength and performance of that concrete. A concrete producer then is able to benefit from that improved performance by using a little bit less cement in their concrete. This allows them to offset the cost of purchasing the CO2 and the technology. Last year, the company won a $20 million X prize for carbon utilization, for capturing CO2 and using it in an innovative way. It created a sort of a global uh, visibility for our technology and what we were able to do. The X Prize organization hosts competitions to help solve some of the world's biggest environmental issues. This year, Carbon Cure is in the running for the Elon Musk backed Carbon Removal X Prize. The competition spans four years, with $80 million in awards going to winners by 2025. The company will likely use the prize money to implement their technology at other concrete sites, like this one owned by Cheney Enterprises in Waldorf, Maryland, that already uses Carbon Cure. Carbon Cure, an early example of how environmentally friendly concrete now seems more possible than ever. Do you foresee a time when every concrete plant in the U.S. is injecting and storing CO2? If it, if it helps lower your carbon footprint, gain some efficiencies, and it just makes a better product, I don't know why you wouldn't. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.